got this projection TV. I'm going to do a video, tear into it, see what's inside. Got it from a couple that were moving and they tried selling it, couldn't get rid of it. You can pick them up like on Craigslist or a lot of people just put them on the curb for free. This couple practically begged me to take it from them. You'll need a truck to get them because they're so big and bulky. They're kind of obsolete now. Nobody wants them because they're too big. You can get the big flat screens. LEDs for pretty cheap and they're a lot lighter. Reason I got it because I'm hoping there's a Fresnel lens. I'm going to get that out and see what else we have inside this thing. I tore apart a LCD TV. There's no Fresnel lens in those. I did that in another video. So let's get started. First, I'm going to. Looks like it comes. There's a seam right here, and there's a whole bunch of screws that go around the outside right here on the back. I'll take all those out and see what happens. Just for reference, this one's a Hitachi and it's a 42 inch. Ultra Scan HD. Okay, I got all the screws out. Looks like it's fastened inside too, so it looks like is all now I have to do is take there's four screws here on the back and it looks like this whole back panel will come off and we'll get to the whole inside pretty easy I'll take them screws out now okay I took them screws out there's the back panel I took it off there's a nice mirror inside there I'll take that off and then save that get rid of the plastic there's what it looks like I'm hoping that's a Fresnel lens I think it is in there somewhere but got that and then we have some nice lenses right here also for the projection so I'll take this front off. I gotta take these screws out and this front frame will come right off. Pretty easy, only took about five minutes. What I had to do is take out a couple more screws along the outside back. So this front came comes off right here. This front panel. And it exposes the speakers and there's a couple more screws on this side so four more screws and that front panel there should come right off no problem okay we got the front off there's what we're left with just the base the projection lenses whatever else is on it inside that box probably a bunch of electrical components but I can see the circular pattern on this lens here so I know if there's a Fresnel lens it's probably sandwiched in between a couple other pieces of plastic but I'm sure it's in there I might even be able to use this plastic frame here to mount the Fresnel lens into but we'll take it apart and see what's in there might build another one out of wood so I can build a stand but there it is okay I just took the screws out of this metal piece of metal frame here and this piece of mirror slides right out of here so I'll save that and throw this in the truck for the dumpster, the back plastic panel. I don't know what this mirror is good for, but 
We'll figure that out later. It's just a glass, glass piece of cut glass mirror. There's two parts that we're going to keep. On these lenses, it looks like I might be able to take out four screws and they, right there, around the outside, and they might come out. I'll try it. Let's see what happens. I'm just using my handy wireless drill power tool with a Phillips bit. Took out the four screws and this comes right off, so we have that now. Some nice lenses in there. And down inside there's another piece of glass in a bowl shape. So went ahead and took off all the lenses. So we got three lenses, a mirror and the Fresnel lens. There's what's underneath those, the red, green, and clear. I, went, I took one of these off and there's a bunch of oily, there's a bunch of oily substance. So you might want to just leave them on. There's what it looks like. It's just a green piece of plastic, but you can see it's just full of oil. I'm going to put that back because I really don't want it. I don't want to make a mess. Just take the screws out of this plate and that comes right off. So if you're looking for a free Fennel lens, just Go to Craigslist or newspaper, look for these old projection TVs. People are just giving them away. It only took me about, the worst part's getting it to your place. Taking it apart, I bet it took only about 15, 20 minutes. And I got a free Fresnel lens. Of course, you got to get rid of this. Too, but once you take it apart, there ain't that much to get rid of, just a small base. But this, this is the heavy part of it, though, so getting rid of it's a pain in the butt and picking it up. Other than that, it's not too bad. Okay, I finished taking this back off, and it's just a bunch of electrical components. You want to be careful there could be capacitors in here that are still charged so don't be messing around if you don't want to get electrocuted. In fact there's a warning. Warning! Risk of electric shock do not open. Heat sinks. I might save a few of the parts out of this. Uh, but really, there ain't much in there. The main reason I wanted it was for this Fresnel lens. It's worth more than the TV itself. That's pretty much it, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm going to build a frame for the Fresnel lens and try to do some Fresnel cooking with it. We'll do a video with that. Thanks for watching.